if we want to construct buildings, we will use diverse building blocks as the basic materials to build the houses, monuments, museums, or castles. But imagine if we are able to create structures in a world which is invisible by human eyes, where instead of the bricks, woods, or stones, as the building materials, we use molecules to create the structures in a nanometer scale size, or in a world with a size of a billionth part of a meter. The fabrication of nanostructures and nanomaterials based on the molecules as a building blocks occurs due to the process which is in chemistry known as supramolecular self-assembling, where disordered molecular system results into self-organized molecular nanostructures, but without any external intervention of the human. In our research group, in the nanoscience, we are specialized into fabrication of organic molecular nanostructures with a different shape and the size, starting from one-dimensional molecular nanowires until two-dimensional molecular networks, but with a thickness of only one atom. The process of molecular self-assembling and formation of the nanostructures occurs on the surfaces, such as metals and semiconductors. But now one can ask a question, how we are able to be sure or to see that we have a form nanostructures if nano world is invisible by human eyes? Well, once the molecules are produced in the chemistry lab, their deposition on the surfaces, self-assembling and formation of nanostructures is monitored by one of the most advanced microscopies, scanning tunneling microscopies. Scanning tunneling microscopy is microscopy with atomic scale size precision, which enable us to visualize each molecule or atom which constitute four nanostructures, as well to perform characterization in submolecular resolution. High resolution images, which are obtained by scanning tunneling microscopy, enable us to understand actually how molecules self assemble on the surfaces, and this knowledge helps us to form diverse nanostructures in a predictable manner by tuning the properties of the molecules that we use as a building blocks. Indeed, scanning tunneling microscopy in the combination with supramolecular chemistry on the surfaces help us to promote and have different nanostructures and nanomaterials with well-defined properties in a predictable manner that we can integrate in devices that we use nowadays, starting from our smartphones, computers, micro devices, or application in the medicine for a cancer treatment or for successful medical drug delivery.